Okay, so we made this mold here, and now I'm going to take a ball burr and I'm going to I'm going to cut on these lines I marked, and I I find it easier if I just mark them with a sharpie, uh, and then it's good to have a scalpel. And if you're going to use a scalpel, make sure you have one that's brand new. Uh, the sharper they are, the better they're going to cut, and actually it it reduces uh, the chances of slipping. So. Anyways, um, so I started this one, and just a just a ball burr. Now, really, you want to take your time on this. I'm going to try and do it quicker. What you don't want to do is you don't want it to catch and then run. And if it is going to run, you don't want it to run into your pattern. So really it's better even to, to do it this direction. Since if it does run, it's going to run towards the, uh, the cone here. Now with the latex rubber, this doesn't work very well. That's what I like about this rubber, is that you can add sprues later on, which is good if you're not, if you're not used to soldering the sprues directly to your piece. You can start out doing it this way, and then as you learn to solder better, uh, you can start soldering your sprues to the piece and then it'll be it'll be even better. And so sometimes you need the scalpel to cut off some of these areas here that stick up. You'll also need a scalpel so you can run it around the little uh, flange here on the end. So you're going to want to do this to both sides with the ball burr. And I'm kind of speeding it up because it's a video. But really, you should take your time. It's the only way you're going to get it nice and smooth and, and more accurate. Uh, and I'm not going to do the whole video with this. I think you get the idea. I haven't tried it yet with this, but I'm, I'm assuming you could also burn this in. If you had some sprue wire, you could probably heat it up and burn it in. Maybe I'll try that on the next mold. But anyways, you get the idea. And so when you're done, you just want to make sure that there's no little, no little pieces sticking up. And if you can't get them with the ball burr, you can, you can use your scalpel. Um, but like I say, it's best to take your time. So I'm going to shut the video off and then I'm going to take my time, finish it up nicer. And then after that, we'll inject a wax. All right. Thank you.